Welcome to the global defense battle. The Tejas Mk-2 is a single-engine multi-role fighter aircraft developed by India to enhance its air combat capabilities. Designed by the Aeronautical Development Agency in collaboration with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, the Tejas Mk-2 serves various roles, including air-to-air -air combat, ground attack, and reconnaissance. The aircraft is expected to be inducted into the Indian Air Force in the near future, following the successful deployment of its predecessor, the Tejas Mk-1. On the other hand, the JF-17 Block III is a lightweight multi-role fighter jet developed through a collaboration between Pakistan and China. This aircraft was created to provide an affordable solution for air forces, particularly in developing nations. The JF-17 is designed for various roles, including air superiority, ground attack, and close air support, enabling it to adapt to different combat scenarios. It began entering service in the Pakistan Air Force in 2007, and has since gained traction in international markets due to its low cost and effectiveness. And today, we will compare for the, these aircrafts, India's Tejas Mk-2 versus JF-17 Block III. Let's speak about design and dimensions first. The Tejas Mk-2 features a delta wing design, which enhances its aerodynamic efficiency and maneuverability. The aircraft has a length of 13.2 meters, a wingspan of 8.2 meters, and a height of 4.4 meters. It has an empty weight of approximately 6,550 kilograms and a maximum takeoff weight of 13,500 kilograms. This lightweight design allows for agility in combat. The use of advanced composite materials in its construction contributes to its strength and reduces radar cross-section, making it harder to detect. On the other hand, the JF-17 Block III has a more conventional wing layout, resembling the F-16 Falcon. Its dimensions include a length of 14.9 meters, a wingspan of 9.5 meters, and a height of 4.7 meters. It has an empty weight of around 6,585 kilograms and a maximum takeoff weight of 12,385 kilograms. The design incorporates features like a low drag profile and high thrust-to-weight ratio, enhancing its combat capabilities. Both aircraft showcase unique design philosophies that cater to their operational roles. Speaking about engine and performance, the Tejas Mk-2 is powered by the General Electric F414 GE INS-6 engine, which produces around 98 kilonewtons of thrust. This thrust enables the aircraft to achieve a maximum speed of Mach 1.8, making it capable of supersonic flight. The aircraft has a ferry range of approximately 3,200 kilometers, allowing for extended missions without the need for frequent refueling. Its operational ceiling reaches about 16,500 meters, providing the ability to operate at high altitudes. The JF-17 Block III, on the other hand, utilizes the Klimov RD-93 engine, delivering approximately 84.5 kilonewtons of thrust. This engine allows the JF-17 to reach a maximum speed of Mach 1.6, also qualifying it as a supersonic fighter. Its ferry range is notably greater, extending up to 3,482 kilometers, which provides a tactical advantage for long-range missions. The maximum altitude for the JF-17 Block III is around 16,920 meters, enabling it to operate effectively in various combat scenarios. While both aircraft feature powerful engines that allow for impressive speed and range, the Tejas Mk-2, with its advanced F414 engine, offers a slightly higher speed, while the JF-17 boasts a greater range and operational altitude. Coming to the weapons and payload capacity, the Tejas Mk-2 has a versatile payload capacity, allowing it to carry a wide range of weapons for various combat roles. It features eight hardpoints, with a maximum payload capacity of approximately 5-300 kilograms. For beyond visual range combat, the aircraft can be equipped with missiles such as the Derby and Python 5, which are effective against enemy aircraft at long distances. In addition to BVR missiles, it is capable of carrying air-to-ground weapons, including the KH-59, as well as laser-guided bombs, cluster bombs, and anti-radiation missiles. The aircraft can also utilize rocket pods, like the S-8, further enhancing its ground attack capabilities. In contrast, the JF-17 Block III is equipped with seven hardpoints and can carry a maximum payload of around 3,600 kilograms. For BVR engagements, it utilizes missiles such as the PL-12 and AM-9L, which are designed for effective combat beyond visual range. Additionally, it can carry various air-to-surface weapons, including the CM-102 and CM-400 anti-ship missiles. The JF-17 can also deploy unguided bombs, guided bombs, and anti-radiation missiles, making it a flexible platform for both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. 
while both aircraft showcase significant payload capabilities. But the Tejas Mk2 has a higher payload capacity and is designed for a wider variety of advanced munitions, making it suitable for multi-role operations. Coming to the radar and sensors, the Tejas Mk2 is equipped with the ELM-2052 AESA radar, which is an advanced active electronically scanned array system. This radar enhances target detection and tracking capabilities with a maximum range of around 200 kilometers. This radar is capable of tracking multiple targets simultaneously and is designed to improve the aircraft's situational awareness in combat. The Tejas Mk2 is also expected to feature a comprehensive suite that may include jamming systems to disrupt enemy radar and missile targeting. Additionally, it is anticipated to incorporate systems for electronic countermeasures, allowing it to defend against incoming threats. The aircraft also includes other sensors, such as infrared search and track, and forward-looking infrared systems, enhancing its ability to detect and engage targets in various environments. On the other hand, the JF-17 Block III is outfitted with the NRIOT KLJ-7A AESA radar, which offers effective target acquisition capabilities, reportedly with a range of approximately 170 kilometers. This radar can track multiple aerial targets, providing significant situational awareness for the pilot. For electronic warfare, the JF-17 includes features that enable it to jam enemy radar systems, enhancing its survivability against adversarial threats. In addition to its radar, the aircraft is equipped with an IRST for passive target detection. Both the aircrafts are equipped with advanced radar systems. The Tejas Mk2's ASA radar offers superior range and tracking abilities, while the JF-17's KLJ-7A provides effective target acquisition. In terms of cockpit design, the Tejas Mk2 features a modern glass cockpit equipped with advanced avionics, including multi-function displays and a head-up display. The cockpit is designed for ease of use, allowing pilots to access vital information quickly. It also includes a hands-on throttle and stick system, which improves pilot control and reduces workload during combat. The JF-17 Block III similarly has a glass cockpit, with a multifunctional display and various advanced avionics systems, such as an improved HUD and enhanced communication and navigation systems. Both aircraft are equipped with night vision capabilities, making them effective in low-light conditions. Talking about the airframe, the Tejas Mk2 airframe primarily utilizes composite materials, which enhance its strength-to-weight ratio and reduce overall weight. Approximately 45% of the structure is made from composites, with the rest comprising aluminum and titanium. This choice of materials contributes to better fuel efficiency and agility in flight. In terms of aerodynamics, the delta wing configuration of the Tejas Mk2 improves lift and maneuverability, allowing for better performance in combat situations. While it does not incorporate full stealth features, its design minimizes radar cross-section, making it harder to detect. The JF-17 Block III, on the other hand, uses a combination of metal and composite materials in its airframe. This hybrid approach balances durability and weight, although it leans more toward conventional materials compared to the Tejas Mk2. Its aerodynamic design includes a low drag profile and a conventional wing configuration, which offers stability and ease of control during flight. Like the Tejas, the JF-17 does not feature advanced stealth technology, but efforts have been made to enhance its radar signature management. Coming to the cost, the Tejas Mk2 has a total development cost estimated at around $600 million. This figure accounts for the extensive research, design, and testing phases involved in creating the aircraft. The production cost for each Tejas Mk2 aircraft is projected to be approximately $25-$30 million. In terms of maintenance costs, ongoing estimates suggest that they could be around $4,000 to $5,000 per flight hour, although this figure can vary based on operational factors and specific configurations. For the JF-17 Block III, the total development cost is not publicly detailed, but it is considered a more cost-effective option due to its budget-friendly design. The estimated production cost for each JF-17 Block III aircraft is significantly lower, ranging from $15 to $25 million. This lower price point is a key selling feature for many developing countries. Maintenance costs for the JF-17 are generally reported to be lower as well, around $3,000 to $4,000 per flight hour, making it an attractive option for air forces with limited budgets. In summary, both aircrafts are two advanced fighter aircraft designed to meet the evolving demands of modern warfare. The Tejas Mk2 emphasizes cutting-edge technology and multi-role capabilities, making it a significant asset for the Indian Air Force. 
Meanwhile, the JF-17 Block III offers a cost-effective solution for various air forces, particularly in developing nations, demonstrating its effectiveness in combat scenarios while maintaining affordability. Which aircraft do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.